Hi, I'm Lee Partridge and welcome back to Cole TV. It's the match day show as we take on Donny Doncaster Rovers here at the JobServe Community Stadium today. First things first, if you're watching the show from home, the game is live on iFollow and that's anywhere in the world today. So go across to the website to get your match pass and that's the same for every other game up and including the 17th uh, the game on the 17th of December against Salford due to the World Cup. The three o'clock kickoffs on Saturday are now going to be available. We'll have the thoughts from young striker Samson Tavidi shortly. Uh, we'll also have a look back at a great win against today's opponent. But I must say, before we go any further on the show, well done to our under-18s on Wednesday night here at the stadium who progressed through the second round into the third round of the FA Youth Cup with a, a great win against Maidstone. 3-0 winners, so uh, well done to them. Right, back to today's show. Let's get the thoughts ahead of today's game from Matt Bloomfield. He was speaking to David at the training ground on Thursday. Matt, not the result you wanted on Saturday, but a good performance that you can take some positives from. How have you been able to use that in training this week going into Saturday? Yep, certainly. I think um, I think you're exactly right. Not the result we wanted. We want we want to win um, sooner rather than later, but there's loads of positives to take from the performance. Um, so we tried to right some, some wrongs from, from giving the goal away and some other bits and pieces, but um, we were really pleased in some of the chances we created. Um, I thought our pressing shape was really good, the way we kept ourselves disciplined when um, when we didn't have the ball but also when we went and took the ball back uh, and attacked in, in high areas so like I say there was lots of positives but we need to make sure that we take those positives from the performance and, and start moving that into results. And when you look at the the league results and the, the defeats that, that you've had bar the Barrow game there's only been a goal margin in it so psychologically does that, that help in any way? I mean you don't want to be conceding goals but, but to know you're not, not getting beaten by a lot of goals every week is that something that you can take knowing if you can cut that out you're, you're there yeah I think um, I don't want to sound like a broken record but I keep saying to the boys and keep saying to anyone listen we're not far away we know that um, obviously we want the outcome we want the results but if you're not getting that you have to concentrate on the performance and the process which, we, which we're trying to do if we keep that going and moving that in the right direction then, then the results will come we have no doubt about that so you know, the most important thing for us is keeping the performance levels high, keeping the energy energy levels high. The belief and the, the positivity has to retain high levels. Um, and if we keep doing that and keep putting the performances on the table like we did last week, then then we know that results are just around the corner. And defensively, if there are just those narrow margins, it is a case of converting those chances. Are you happy with the number of chances being created? And is it more of a, a chance to, to goal ratio that you need to work on? Or do you, do you need those more chances to come? Yeah, all, all sides. We have to stop conceding so many chances. And I say that, there wasn't many at crew last week. They created one good opportunity and scored it. Um, so we have to make sure we, we keep the back door shut at, at all times, even if we're in the ascendancy, which we were last week. We've got to make sure that, worst case scenario, we come with a, a way of a nil-nil draw. If we don't you know, convert our chances, we, we keep the back door locked and we come away with a nil-nil draw. So, but at the same time, we do feel like we can create more chances. We, we're trying to work on all facets of the game. We want to improve in every area um, that we're doing. Um, so both ends of the pitch, we need to... Between the boxes, I think we've been... Fairly okay for, for a while now, but we need to make sure that we, we become kings of the penalty areas and make sure we, like I say, we defend our box with our lives and, and make sure we convert at the other end. And if we do, then uh, hopefully our process and our, our performances will result in, um, in some wins. Uh, Doncaster at, at home, I mean, not too much difference between away and home form, but always good to be back in front of the fans. Uh, Doncaster, a bit of inconsistent form, a change of, of boss as well, but a couple of wins. So what are you expecting from them at the community stadium? Yeah, they're a good team, Doncaster. We've watched their last few games. Um, I think both home and away, they've had some good results recently and we know um, their style of play. They like to get the ball down, three at the back, pass the ball out from the back. We know their style of football and their identity. So we've identified that. We've been working on, on us this week, um, both in and out of possession, and we're trying to implement that ahead of the game on Saturday. So we know we're in for a tough game. They've got some... Some good players who have played both in, in League 2 but also in League 1, so they've got some good experience about them. Um, and we know we're in for a tough game, but we also have good confidence in ourselves. And I know that might be um, hard for people to believe because the results gone against us, but we do. We have belief in our boys here, we have confidence in them, we trust them. And we trust the process that we put in place this week in terms of our tactical knowledge and our, our game plan. And, and we're just looking forward to putting that in place Saturday and hopefully you know, putting a performance for our home supporters. Yeah, and uh, the, the supporters, you've... you've being vocal about wanting to, to build that relationship and have that engagement with them. I guess perhaps 
some of the exchanges may, may be difficult during this period, but, but you're keen to build that relationship because that's the support you need going forward. 100%, there's no doubt about that. We need, we need the supporters to be, to be with us. You know, um, I know it's, um, it's been extremely frustrating for time for them. I, I empathise with them, I sympathise. I, you know, I'm a, a football fan at heart myself, and um, when things are going against you, it's hard to keep your emotions in check. I've got no, no problem with that. I'm totally fine with that. We want passionate people who, who care about their football club and, and, and when we get it right and, and we're on the brink of doing that, then they'll be with us and, and we're moving forward. So I have absolutely no, no trouble with that. You know, I've got broad shoulders. I know we're here to win football matches, so, so no problem. We just want them to stay with us, um, keep supporting their team and, and, and turn up in their numbers, which they're doing. So first and foremost, it's a thank you from me for them to keep travelling around the country, spending their hard-earned money and their time to support a team that's not been winning football matches. That's not, that's not easy to do. So... No problem with that whatsoever. I, I, I retain um, my belief that for this football club to move forward, we need to be in it together. Um, players, staff, supporters, um, you know, media, everybody. It, it's it's going to be a group effort to move this this football club forward, and and that's the part of the enjoyment is getting everyone together and, and moving it forward. And, and I, know, I have no doubt that we will do. It. So, Matt, aiming to take the positives from last weekend's game uh, against Crew into this afternoon's action. And we did look good against Crew. Uh, we created some good chances, but it's that finishing touch and those goals that we seem to be lacking at the moment. Let's hope we can put that right today. Let's take a look back at our last win against this afternoon's opponents. We managed to put four past them here at the JCS. That was back in 2016. Here's the goals and the highlights. Memorable strikes there from Chris Porter, Elliot Lee, Alex Gilby and Richard Brindley securing all three points. And uh, we'll be hoping for some more of that this afternoon, of course. And someone who will be hoping to provide the firepower this afternoon is Samson Tavidi. He made his second league start at the weekend at Gretzi Road and looked like he was fitting in rather well in the first team environment for such a young lad. This is what he had to say ahead of this afternoon's game against Doncaster. Samson got that opportunity uh, within the, the first team, which you were able to, to be a part of on um, Saturday. What was that like being back amongst it? Um, it was good. Like, um, obviously, training during the week, just come up from injury, and just obviously train well that week. Obviously, Gap has come in, obviously, given me an opportunity and just took it, really. 
how early did you find out that, that you were going to be involved and, and once you, you do find out, how do you, you start preparing? Um, I actually found out the day before, but obviously I literally just focused during that week, literally just getting my head down, doing what I could do to get in the team and obviously got my opportunity. And does it feel when, when you come into a, a side that is, is looking for that win, hasn't had it, does does that create more pressure or do you, does the pressure come off because you know you can go out there and they're, they're trying to trying to get different things going, trying to get that result? Um, like, I don't really focus on that too much literally because obviously I've, come, I've got nothing to lose really. Like, I'm in a team where we need goals so all I can do is give my best and that's what I've obviously done on Saturday. And since Matt Bloomfield has come in as, as head coach, he's told us a lot how much he wants to develop the, the young players. Mm -hmm. So did you always feel that, that once you were fit that opportunity would, would come? Um, I didn't just honestly just wanted to get my head down and obviously the opportunity obviously he's kind of took me under his wing of just being encouraging all the time helping me making sure I'm good making sure I understand the tactics on the pitch all of that and yeah he's just been brilliant to be honest yeah and what about the the players around you who are part of that, that team on on Saturday is you do you link up well yeah. is there good communication in, in what you need to be doing um, yeah, the, a lot of communication, but like Alan Judge, Luke, Han Cham Luke Chambers always talking to me. So on Saturday when I'm obviously trying to send a half, trying to farm me, telling me just keep my head, keep my cool. And it's just good to have that, to obviously keep calm, have that. Obviously, I've had a tough pass, obviously, with my, obviously, sore stuff. But, yeah, just having them, obviously, behind me talking to you constantly just helps, so yeah. And from now, you want to push on, you want to be involved every, every week and, and you feel that those opportunities are there for you? Mm, yeah, just literally all I'm trying to do is literally just every single session, every game, just give 100% what's it's all you can do really, so yeah. And, and particularly, what is it like amongst the, the squad at the moment? It's been a difficult period, mm. but is there a lot of positivity around? you had a couple of weeks now where there haven't been a midweek game, so, so mm. lots of good training to be preparing mm. for these games coming up. Yeah, training has been good. Everyone's just staying positive. That's all you can do in these kind of situations. Obviously, we've got a young squad and obviously an experienced squad, so obviously over time things will obviously change, I hope. So, yeah. On his thoughts there from young Samson, not just about his own performance, but expressing it's much more important Far more than any individual performance, it's the team performance. Quite right as, to, as well, Samson. Right, that's pretty much it from us. Before you head out to take your seats, to remind you that we're back here on Wednesday for the Papa John's Trophy game against Bristol Rovers. Tickets are available on Colu Tickets, or you can scan the QR code in your programme and that will take you straight to the page. If you're not here at the stadium for the, this afternoon's match, don't forget, although it's a three o'clock due to the World Cup club, club Due to the World Cup, you can head across to iFollow and watch the match live. Right, that's about it from me. I'll let you go out there. Cheer on the lads wherever you're watching the game from, anywhere in the world. And we'll see you back here on Wednesday. But for now, enjoy the game and goodbye for now.